As you can see behind me, we got all the junk cars. And this is only part. There's a lot more on the other side. Junk vehicles line the roadside of a Jigo neighborhood as far as the eye can see, from Chalin Machetti to Chalin Gachai. Hundreds of feet of Chamorro Land Trust property turning into an illegal dump site in recent years. Somebody has to do something about this thing. So Former Veteran Affairs Director Juan Blas is a Land Trust resident. He tells KUEM he reached out to the Jigo mayor and the CLTC, but nothing has been done. The funny thing about this, we are standing on top of the Guam aquifer, the, the water lens is down here. Mm -hmm. So those vehicles that are illegally dumped there, you, who knows what kind of oil and gas and, you know, dripping down. It's a similar situation over on Swamp Road in Dededo, also atop our sole water source and again on CLTC property. These junk cars sparking the attention of Guam Fire Captain John Sablon. Well, you notice on your way here, a lot of the cars are burned. So what we what we uh, noticed, uh, like trending, is that uh, a vehicle would be dragged out to the side of the road and then maybe the next day or the, that evening, the, somebody will light it on fire. He shows us around Aurora Street, a hot spot for the Dededo Fire Station. Yeah, over the past uh, couple of years, um, Guam Fire Department has been dispatched to this particular area. Uh, and, and when we get here, it's just trash. Sometimes a car, sometimes it's new, new um, trash that's been dumped here. He believes there are multiple people responsible to include a distributor who dumped countless plastic bottle caps and burned the evidence the same day. We're in communication with EPA and uh, they are aware of this uh, particular site and I believe they're working uh, together with the mayor and the Chamorro Land Trust to figure out what to do with this. Uh, how we can stop this. You know. From Jigo to Dededo, it's a serious littering issue on CLTC property that Jigo Mayor Anthony Sanchez calls a funding problem. Each year under the Recycling Revolving Fund, $1 million is divided among the 19 villages to help with the cleanup, but he says disposal costs them about $400 per car. He tells KUEM he would need to get authorization from the CLTC to remove the junk cars, but says even then, their budget is not enough to tackle every car. But it should be noted with a recently passed law, junk cars are now considered litter and violators can be fined up to $8,000, which reimburses the Recycling Revolving Fund. KUAM also reached out to the CLTC for comment.